Reporting during a war or during uh, wartime conditions kind of ramps up everything else that's happening in journalism. It's this period of extremes, um, kind of literal, literal extremes of being on a battlefield and trying to report. So when it comes to gathering the truth, creating uh, sort of a reality for readers, this is kind of a stress test. It's kind of a place where, um, where, where that becomes really challenging and really important. So in this case, we have a number of examples of depictions of, of war from uh, some sort of ephemeral uh, productions like this Nianhua from China uh, around 1900 to sort of Nazi propaganda, um, newspapers during the Civil War. But really the, the highlight for us is something that the Pembroke Center at Brown was kind enough to, uh, to lend to us material on the journalist Lynn Cross, who was a Brown graduate um, and was a reporter during World War II. She was an embedded, what we now call an embedded reporter. And she traveled with this group, the 42nd Regimental Combat Team, which is a Japanese American unit. Uh, and they fought during World War II and ended up becoming the most decorated uh, soldiers in the military. So they fought under uh, in some tremendously dangerous conditions. There were incredible acts of bravery, uh, all of it in the midst of the United States essentially uh, mistreating uh, Japanese citizens uh, or Japanese, mem Japanese members of the American uh, public uh, by locking them in internment camps. So we have a couple photos of Lynn Cross's time during, uh, during World War II, as well as her uh, journalist hat. Again, this is from the Pembroke Center archives, uh, so thank you to them.